Thank you for joining me. My name is Liz, and this is my movement channel, Movement with Liz. That was Aria. Uh, she doesn't seem to like to hang out in the videos anymore. She kind of makes a little appearance, and then she's off to the couch. So that was Aria. Uh, she's gone to snore on the couch. Today's video is going to be more of a movement practice for your inner domain. So we have blood flow, we have lymph flow, and it's really important that we have good flow within our system so that we feel good, we have energy, we have less tension and inflammation in our bodies, and we're actually able to then uh, regenerate our system, and that starts from the inside out. So blood flow gets pumped around the body through our, or from our heart, and lymphatic flow is a little bit different. So it requires you to pump it, and that means movement, it means diaphragmatic breathing. You can also get lymphatic drainage massage as well. But really important that you're doing something to help this system in your body so that everything else can function well. So today I'm gonna to take you through a bit of a lymphat lymphatic, I can speak English, lymphatic flow for your body. And then we're gonna sit down and we're gonna do some breath work. So it's gonna be just a short little session, something that you could do maybe at the beginning of your day, maybe on your lunch break, or even at the end of the day, or maybe afternoon if you're finding that you're hitting a little bit of fatigue, something that's gonna bring some energy back into your system. So we're gonna start with the lymphatic, lymphatic flow first. <laughs> lymphatic, it's a new word. So we start above our collarbones, and it's really important when you are working with this system that you start from the top and you work your way down, but you're always moving up. So we're not coming down, we start from the top, we're moving down, but we're shifting it up. So starting on top of the collarbones, just gonna lightly tap either side. Don't have to spend too much time. If you've only got a couple of minutes just doing this, it'd be amazing for your system. So this is where our lymphatic uh, system kind of flows into before it gets uh, put back into our system. We're going to move down into the armpit area. So we're going to hit six different regions where a lot of our lymph, or our lymph nodes are, and then we're going to work the whole body. So just working side to side. We're coming towards the heart, so always shifting it back towards the heart. Moving to the other side, I just did a training session, I got a little bit of a little bit of stinkiness going on. Coming into the center here, the sternum. So just coming up, or starting from the bottom, coming up. You don't have to go too hard either, so we're not trying to cause ourselves any harm or bruises. Belly button, and again shifting up. into the groin area, so where your undie line would be. Just gently tapping either side. And then behind the knees. So call these tribal gatherings. If you know Dr. Terry Nicholson, you'll know that that's what he calls them. And it's a gathering of our lymph nodes. They're kind of like the checkpoints of your body where the lymph flows to, it gets checked out. Is there anything that needs to be deployed to kind of take anything down that's not meant to be in your system, like a virus, bacteria, uh, and then it removes it from your system if it's functioning well. So now we're going to tap the rest of the body. And again, we're starting at the top and we're always coming back towards the heart. So I'm just going to start on top of my, I'm on my left shoulder here. So left side does majority of the work with our lymphatic system. So it drains the left side of your brain, and we will also do a little bit of tapping down the neck as well. Left arm, left torso, and then from the hip down, it does both legs. So pretty important. So tapping down. Again, you don't have to spend a heap of time here. It's coming across the chest, we'll move to the other side. So 
lymphatic system, it flows from the back of your body to the front. So we will spend a little bit of time on the back, but always thinking coming towards the, towards the front. And then we're going to go both sides of the neck. So we have our glymphatic system, starting with a G, the glymphatic system in our brain. And that drains from good quality sleep. But we can also help it out a little bit by freeing up. So a quarter of our lymph nodes are in our neck, which is pretty freaking massive compared to you know, the size of your neck and the rest of your body. A quarter of it right here, pretty important. You have brain fog. Uh, you just lack energy throughout the day. We might not be clearing that fluid that builds up in our uh, brain over the day. And then we're gonna come to the belly again. We're just gonna rub around in a clockwise circle first. And while you're doing this, just think about breathing nice and smoothly. And then we're gonna tap. If you wanna come from the back, around to the front, you can. And start to pay attention to what you're feeling. You might feel some sensations in your, you know, underneath the skin. That means that we're getting right in there. We're gonna come to the legs, again, tapping up. This is like your natural energy hit. So if you reach for the chocolate bar in the afternoon, Give this a go a couple of times and see how you feel. And then changing sides. If you're wondering, oh my god, I'm standing there tapping myself or you get weird looks from people, that's okay. Let them look. Alright, my favourite part is the feet. So we come down to the tops of the feet and we're just going to give that a little tap. balls of the feet, soften the knees a little bit, just let everything relax, shake out the arms, you can reach them up, give them a shake. So I hope you can already feel that starting to move and shift, sometimes there's tingly sensations, you might just feel a wave of something moving through your system, a wave of energy. How long do you bounce for? How long have you got? Don't let time stop you. Maybe it's 30 seconds, maybe it's a minute, maybe it's two minutes. A little bit of something. A whole lot better than a whole lot of nothing. Just start to slow that down. So hope you can feel that. It feels amazing through my body. So we've done the lymphatic drainage part. We're gonna come down to a seat now and continue with our breath practice. So making your way down to a comfortable seat. If you have a bolster or a cushion to sit on and you'd like to do that, please grab whatever is going to make you comfortable. Even sitting down on a chair, you can lay down. Uh, just be mindful that we stay awake. Maybe if you fall asleep, maybe that's exactly what you need, but we wanna try and stay awake and mindful as we do this practice. We are going to do a box breathing practice for 10 rounds. So we'll be breathing in for a count of four, holding for a count of four, breathing out for a count of four, and holding for a count of four. I'm gonna count the first couple of rounds for you and then I'll just guide as to when to breathe in, when to hold, when to breathe out, and so on. So finding that comfortable seated position, let's take a little wriggle around on the sit bones, lengthening up through the spine, take a nice big roll through the shoulders, up, back and down. See if you can stay sitting tall, but let the muscles around the shoulders, let them relax. Slightly tuck the chin. If it feels okay for you, closing the eyes down. 
And if not, bringing the eyes into a soft gaze, maybe focusing on something out in front. Before we start, just noticing your breath. So if you've had a busy day, maybe it's right in the middle of the day, you feel like you've been rushing, you may find the breath is up in the chest, up in the shoulders, up in the neck. Just notice that for now. See if you can take a nice, smooth breath in through the nose, expanding through your belly, through your rib cage, through the chest, and let it out with a sigh. Let's do that again. Nice, smooth breath in. Belly, rib cage, chest. Let it out with a sigh. One more time, breathing in. Breathing out. And then moving into just a smooth rhythm of breathing in and out through the nose. So at any pace that feels good for you. So box breathing, amazing for whatever it is you're trying to achieve. Kind of ticks all the boxes, depending on what your intention is. So if you'd like to right now, setting an intention for this practice, maybe more focus, more energy, stress release, whatever it is you feel you need now, setting that intention. We'll move into our 10 rounds of box breathing, taking a clearing breath to begin. Breathing in, breathing out, in, one, two, three, four, hold, four, three, two, one, out, one, two, three, four, hold, four, three, two, one, in, one, two, three, four, hold, four, three, two, one, out, one, two, three, four, hold, four, three, two, one, in, hold, out, hold, in, focusing on the breath, Hold, out, hold, in, hold, out. Hold, in, 
hold, out, nice and smooth, hold, in, hold, out, hold, three more rounds, in, hold, out, hold, in, hold, out, hold, Last round, breathing in, hold, out, hold, moving back into your natural rhythm of breath, take a little moment, a little check in with yourself. Are you feeling calmer, more relaxed? Maybe there's more focus and clarity in your thinking. If you'd like to continue on with the practice, feel free to do as many rounds as you can, or as many rounds as you have time for. Thank you very much for joining me. So super simple practice, movement for your inner domain. So we often think about moving our body, strengthening our body, lifting weights, running, jumping, doing yoga, all the fun things. And yes, that is going to be great for your inner domain as well. But sometimes we need something a little bit extra to help out, especially the lymphatic system, uh, as it is a really important system within our body. It has a role in every system in the body. So really important that it's functioning well. So super simple massage that you can do on yourself on the daily. I recommend doing it daily if you can. In the morning, outside, get some sunlight in your eyes. Even better, you get bonus points. Give it a go and just see how it makes you feel over time and I reckon you're going to be feeling pretty damn good if you consistently do it. So thank you so much. I will see you next time.